Hello, my student. How are you doing? I hope um, you are doing fine. And I hope um, you stay safe. We pray that we should meet um, very soon because we are missing all of you. Okay? It's good to use this medium to reach you so that you know we can continue our activities. This is third term and this is going to be um, third term scheme of work. This is your scheme of work for third term general mathematics. All right? From week one to um, let's say week eight, it's going to be statistics. Okay? The majority of what you are going to do this time is statistics. Very, very important um, topic in mathematics. And it's a course by the time you get to university, some of you might study um, statistics. Okay? That is, you can see what is, uh, you can see the content of week one. I'm um, through it in detail. This is week two. This is week three statistics. Measure of central tendency. Fourth week measures of dispersion okay fifth week cumulative frequency still statistics okay sixth week another cumulative frequency and statistic also seventh week cumulative frequency you can see we have uh, much to do as far as statistic is concerned seventh week eight week okay then um ninth week is sad that is how to rational and irrational number we are going to manipulate them um, numbers tenth week sad okay if you look at it generally we have statistics and sad okay statistics from first week to eight week then sad nine and tenth um, week okay statistics by definition, statistic is a branch of mathematics that deals with the collection, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of numerical data. The word data refers to information that is collected and recorded. It can be in form of numbers, words, measurements, and much more. Also, data can be visualized using graphs images or other analysis tools statistic is mainly about collection of data we collect data for reasons so by the time we collect data we try to analyze it interpret it then present it for instance let's have, let's see census okay if we need to conduct census right now we have to go from one house to another house how many people are in this um, house how many men how many women how many children you know how many are educated you know so by the time we collect those data then we now analyze it at the end we can now say um so 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 a uh, men or let's say or either men we have more men than women okay um so 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 age are uh, uneducated you know we can now judge it will help us we collect data analyze it and present it for research sometimes we collect data for a purpose let's say once let's say we want to know um birth rate or death rate you know we can easily go to hospital and see um what happened over um some period of time let's say um over a year or a month okay so statistic um when statistic present data whether in graph or in a tabular form you know we can easily see it and draw conclusion that is what to call um analyzing um, data different ways in which um data can be presented it can be a um, numerical um, value like here you can see well, we all know what is happening around the world right now that is covid 19 pandemic okay like here this um this is an example you can see the statistics the first one there you see lagos cases you know, seven um six four active six zero two recovered one four two deaths one nine and nineteen okay you can see with this table you know much has been said with this table with this with this um, statistical um, table that is the essence of statistic you know if um if you happen to come to arrive in Nigeria today and this table is presented to you you don't need to ask questions 
I don't need to ask um, as far as um, the effect or the damage caused by this um, by the disease. Okay, you don't need to ask again. With this table, you can be able to analyze, you know, the damage caused by the disease. Okay, so that is the essence of um, statistics. It helps to present information at glance. Um, okay, let us start our calculation. The scores of nine students in mathematics and CA are given below. Eight, that is out of ten, okay? Eight, three, five, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Okay, that is the scores of nine students in mathematics test. Okay, from this course, find the mean score, find the median score, and find the mode score. Okay, let's start from the mean. Okay, you know, mean is like average. That is the interpretation of mean. Okay, mean is just average. Okay, if you have two numbers, for instance, two and three. Okay, the mean of these, you just add them together. Two plus three, that is five. Okay, but how many number have you added? Two. So we are going to divide five by two. Okay, and that is going to be two point five. Okay. If you happen to add three numbers, let's say um, three plus four plus two, okay? It is assumed that you have three numbers, three, four, and two. You have three numbers, okay? This, the numbers are three, four, and two. Find the mean. We just have to add them together and we divide by three because there are three. One, two, three, okay? Three plus four is seven. Seven plus two is nine. And then we have nine over three and that is three okay so here we have a um, nine digits the scores are eight three five seven eight nine nine eight seven one two three four five six seven eight nine okay we have nine digits so to find the mean just like what i've just explained we are supposed to add everything and we divide by nine okay there's no need to arrange there's no need to rearrange. So here is going to be um, 8 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 9 again plus 8 plus 7. Okay. How many are they? Mean is like average. Okay. There are 9. That is over 9. At the end, if you add a return, you're going to have um, 64 over 9. And that is 11, 7.1. 1 okay that is 7.11 that is the mean score mean is just average okay like in your class if you want to know the mean of your age so this is what you do how old are you you collect everybody's age okay maybe you start from yourself if you if you had 16 years um you collect you ask your friends how old they are maybe someone is 15 someone is 14 Maybe another person is 20. So now you collect all the ages. Remember, you are 16. Then, by the time you gather um, all the ages of your class and members, you sum them up. After adding them up, how many are you or how many um, ages have you added? If it is 20, you divide by 20. If you people have um, 10 in class, you happen to collect the age. At the end, you divide your answer by 10. That is the mean, okay? If you people are 30, by the time you collect the age of everyone, including your own, you put at 30, at the end, you divide your answer by 30, okay? That is the mean, okay? By the time you divide, um, you find the mean. Let's say, um, after dividing by 30, okay, let us assume you put at 30 in the class. You, this is your age, this is somebody say, somebody said you collect all it, at the end, you divide by 30, Okay, so if um, the mean is, let's say, 14, 14 years, this is the mean age is 14. So, you know, you can now judge. You are 16, the mean age is 14. That means you are not that young in class because your age is um, 16 and the mean age is 14. Okay, you know, from there, you, you should be able to tell, you know, tell more about um, your age, how you compare your age in the class. If at the end... The mean age um, after dividing by 30 is like, let's say, 20, 20 years. 
as in the mean age and you are 16 so you see yourself very young in the class okay that is the essence okay so that is how to calculate a mean mean is you sum everything if this if you add them five digits you divide the sum by five okay that is mean then median so how do we calculate median median as in no it sounds like middle if you look at it if it sounds like a middle 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 okay median is the middle term finish but there's condition attached to that it's not just middle after arranging in ascending or descending order after arranging ascending okay remember this is our answer to the first one a part after arranging in ascending or descending order but what why do we need to uh, um, arrange in descending since we always count in ascending ascending means from smallest to the highest and that is how we normally count like like um start counting from one two three i'm sure nobody has ever um count downward this you want to count how many eggs in the basket you start um, 15 14 13 you know? so we count in ascending order so the best way to always um, go is to arrange in ascending order okay ascending means mean, um, starting from the smallest the smallest number there is um three okay three followed by five right seven repeated twice right okay seven seven what again eight how many eight one two three eight um of course three times okay um what again nine nine of course um two times okay nine nine okay um okay all right so let me count if it's up to nine one two three four five six seven eight nine yes it is up to nine so here we have to find the middle term you can cancel if you have a um, much number there's a way you can go about it this cancel this this cancel this this cancel this this cancel this you can see this is the median okay the median is eight eight is the middle but sometimes you may have two numbers in the middle what do we do like as i cancel if you happen to have two numbers in the middle you find the average okay you have at the end you have like maybe as you cancel cancel you have um, two numbers in the middle let's say three and one so what do we do you f you it's like you take it from here you, know, you find the average three plus one um four you now have four over two then you now see the median is two when you happen if it happened that two numbers appear in the middle you find the average as well okay so the last one there is mood 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 okay mode is the number that appears most as simple as that remember we are looking at ungrouped um, data it's not grouped this is data you just draw the score somebody scored three somebody score uh, somebody scored eight somebody scored three five seven eight nine ten it's not grouped okay so in this case you look at the number that number number that appears most frequently so if you look at it it's eight eight appears how many times it's eight okay let me write it you have three five seven seven eight 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 nine nine so if you look at it eight appears three times okay so in that case it's taken as mode mode okay the mode is eight it's not compulsory to have mood you know in, in, in statistic it's sometimes you may not have mode like let's say nine appears also three times then we can conclude that there's no mode okay sometimes mode may not exist if you look at the definition mode is the number that appears most so it's not compulsory for a number to appear most okay but mean there's no data without mean that we cannot find the mean or median okay um this is where i'm going to stop